Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadi and welcome to another tutorial. Today, I will discuss and demonstrate using ARC map to georeference a hard copy map to use in GIS. So, you can see I have two map here. One is a topographic map of Dinajpur and another one is a picture that I downloaded from Google Earth and check my previous video to know the process to download these maps. So, I will show two process here and so in this image I will uh, add some latitude and longitude in this image to georeference and uh, in other one I will show another process of to georeference and image. So for starting our georeferencing just make sure you have this toolbar in your RGIS interface and if you don't see it here just right click here and and click georeferencing okay after adding the georeferencing toolbar in your ArcGIS interface just click here and select the image that you can, will, can be jpg or jpeg or tiff or gif whatever just select the map as first of all I'm, I want to georeference this, this map so I am choosing it and then uh, you have to know the projection of your map. So this is uh, a place in Bangladesh and uh, my current projection will be uh, this set here, the right click here, go to properties and set your pro projection as my projection is uh, I want to choose the project projected coordinate systems as WGS 94 ETM zone 55 north and click OK. So after clicking, just uh, we need some points to add. In order to carry out georeferencing, I have to assign coordinates to this image, and I will assign latitude and longitude coordinates to this image. So let's add point from uh, a known source as uh, Google Earth Pro. So this is the play, uh, this is my place, and I have searched for it. And let's add some point from here. So let's uh, add new plus mark, click here and uh, you can also, also change the uh, icon of this and let's take some point as like uh, you can take this point so then I will click here add control point and basically we add control points in an referenced image to manually assign coordinates to those control points and that is how our system of GIS will know where exactly this image comes from uh, just click here and right click here and click input DMS of longitude and latitude and the DMS means the degree minutes second so the latitude was 15 1.4 0 52 13.49 uh, second north ok let's zoom to layer and search for so this uh, picture I have taken is very recent so these are very similar so here you can see three vehicles in the bridge so we can take the points and this is 89, 59, 15, 14, point, 6, 55, 52, 3, 5, 8, 7. Okay, now let's add a third point. This is 
is maybe enough to do referenced a uh, image and after done you are adding point in your map just click here geo referencing and click update geo referencing click ok and if you go to that folder and you can see here is additional two file is added uh, this file contains the georeferenced value of this map and if you want to um, share this map with uh, share this georeferenced map and you have to select them all to share okay now let's work with another map we have here and let's work with a different uh, style as we have to choose this map as um, top of uh, top of genus 4 17 as it is and let's add a shape file so this is the bangladesh map and as these maps are not quite uh, referenced so these are uh, variant different data frames so what you have to do is select this uh, as is this is selected and uh, click here geo reference and click to display so these maps are in uh, in one data frame and this will be uh, very easy for us to geo reference this map and now the next thing i'm uh, i want to change this color of this uh, shape file and i'm i want to change this color uh, is transparent so let's click here and click hollow okay see but uh, mm, the size of this two file is maybe different and if you see this image and in here uh, this is the border line of Bangladesh and in, in, in this part this is Bangladesh and this is India as in here This is this part is representation of this part. So let's click here and select dark brown color, and I want to choose it as red and make it. So here we have our maps. And as you can see, my topographic map is a little bit bigger than my shape files. So just click here and uh, click. Okay, just first of all, click Shift. And then click here also and click Scale. Uh, 
okay so this is as far as you can get from here and now let's select this file and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, tell my system that this point belongs to belongs to this point so let's click first of all let's click to your map and then click to the set file okay There is a little bit uh, difference in this view. So after you have done adding your point, just go to georeferencing and click update georeferencing, and this will fix the point. So this is a. Uh, topographic map and this is Rongpur zone and this uh, we uh, this image we uh, did it earlier is also a place of Rongpur so if we uh, correctly georeferenced this uh, to file uh, and this will show, this image will show over this uh, map so let's see what happens and see this is a small map appears here and let's zoom in and you can see uh, here uh, okay the problem is uh, this is a river and uh, this show this is showing the path of this river so okay the topographic map here is a very old map of Rongpur and this picture is a recent picture uh, and the problem is uh, due to this integration of this the river the path of this river has changed to this and this was the earlier part of the river and this is the present part so as you can see this is uh, showed over the map here and as you can see they all are in one place so we can say that we have uh, georeferenced this map correctly so that's it that's how we can uh, georeference a map and give it a correct coordination and uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, if you're having any trouble please comment below and let me know if this is working or not and uh, subscribe to my channel and see you in next video thank you